In Monopoly, if no one ever buys a property, everyone gets richer and no one loses. Because the main problem with Monopoly is that it doesn't last long enough. In the rules the property is auctioned immediately. If no one still bought it you would be caught in a loop of no one bidding. So you wouldn't get past the first turn. Which makes sense because your premise was basically what if we don't want to play Monopoly XD. Somehow, Op managed to start multiple wars about Monopoly, without playing Monopoly. Hey guys, in football if both teams just kneel every play, no one gets hurt and there's no losers. A game about capitalism where nobody wants to be a capitalist. I mean. That's the point of the game. It's basically an argument against private landlords. That would be like playing Battleship and calling the same coordinates every turn. Perhaps. But the official rules of Monopoly state that if you don't want it, it goes to auction. So any unclaimed property will be sold, unless nobody ever lands on it. The point of the game is not to earn money, it is to be the last one standing. It's a battle royal, not a tycoon. I don't know, man. Everyone at the table would have to be a fucking loser already to think it's a good idea to play it that way. Also, you're wrong. No one will get richer because the official rules state that when a player lands on a property and decides not to buy, it goes to auction instead. If no one bids, the turn doesn't end. No one passes go even once, so no one gets richer. Elizabeth Maggie is rolling over in her grave. The intended purpose of a board game is now considered a shower thought, absolutely crushing. There's a lot of people in this thread who don't understand that monopolies are the enemy of capitalism, not the ideal final form of it. Competition is the very foundation of a free market, without which capitalism becomes some kind of dystopian oligopoly. It's almost like monopoly is about how capitalism is bad or something. Wouldn't you just be moving around the board then with nothing happening? Sounds kinda boring to me. Did you know if you buy all the houses and never upgrade them, once the house pieces are gone, no one can add new houses to the board? Money eventually becomes meaningless as nobody uses it, you're homeless, and you are stuck in a never-ending game. Congratulations you've created hell. The original Monopoly had two sets of rules, a capitalist version and one where everyone worked together to get the most money. The capitalist version stuck because it's more fun. Go listen to the Planet Money episode on it. Yeah, if you're not playing by the rules. An unowned property must be purchased when landed on, whether through buying at listed price or through auction. If property is not bought, it goes up for auction, so somebody will get it. If the person who lands on the property does not purchase it, it goes to auction. Until the pot of cash runs out and then you continue to spend the rest of your life going in squared circles. Wait, this doesn't make sense. You can't just not buy a property. Someone has to bid on it when the player that landed on it doesn't want to buy it. No one ever wins in Monopoly. Actually everyone loses, they had to play a never-ending game of Monopoly. Yeah, if you put wheels on my grandmother she is a bicycle. What are you ever saying? I mean Monopoly was created as a criticism of capitalism, so makes sense. If you ignore the rules of the game and play it completely wrong. This is how you sound. And no one loses. No one wins, either. It's going to get extremely boring, very quickly. Also, everyone will be living on the streets, since there will be no housing. So, kind of like communism. Hoarding cash for the sake of hoarding cash. About as pointless in Monopoly as it is in life. It's kind of a prisoner's dilemma scenario. You make an agreement with the other players to not buy property and everyone makes money. The other players either A follow the agreement, or B don't follow the agreement. If A happens then you yourself could have instead broke the deal, bought property, and likely would have won easily. If B happens and an opponent breaks the deal then you will would have been better off also breaking the deal to stay competitive. 
the correct move is to buy property no matter what you expect your opponent to do. It's capitalism, baby. Fuck that buy it all and rule the game board. In life there are winners and losers. In Monopoly, you may be bankrupted by being forced to stay at fancy hotels out of sheer luck. You also earn money by just running around. It's not a particularly great analogy for real life. Yeah everyone in the game should agree to share the property. That way everything still works and nobody is poor, and nobody feels hurt by how toxic the game often is. Communally shared property, and everyone equally getting richer and richer. I wish there was a name for that in real life. Yes everyone ought to never buy the properties so I can buy them all. Because it has to go to auction and become somebody's through a bid. Can you not get chance cards that cost money? I haven't played in a while but I'm certain I've lost money in ways besides landing on a property. So this doesn't work if you play by the actual read non-house rules. One if the player doesn't buy it, the property is supposed to go to auction. Two there's supposed to be a time limit that's agreed upon by all at the start and the game ends at the end of the time limit. Three nothing goes on the board for free parking. It all goes to the bank or other players directly. So Monopoly was originally a propaganda game designed to teach the ills of capitalism. Leave it to Parker Brothers to turn it into fun for the whole family. Capitalism and private ownership exactly what America is today. Almost as if property is one of our main main problems in society. Am I the only one who likes to buy those cheapest properties and run the slumlord game? There's no point in just not losing. I need to win and I can't win if others can't lose. But then no one will get the satisfaction of being richer than others. If nobody ever plays the game then the game doesn't progress. Brilliant. If nobody trades resources in Settlers of Caton then nobody gets the victory points and nobody wins. I know the point of Monopoly was to show how capitalism is bad. Just look at how frustrating it is for little kids when they lose. But why don't we have games with collective goals, where players win by working together? I'm not joking. In a game, if people don't play the way the game is designed, the game doesn't work. Fun fact you can buy one of each property color and type, effectively locking everyone out of gaining monopolies or doubling rent, which means that players get more money passing go than paying rent to anyone. The rules say if the bank runs out of money you issue IOUs and play continues. If you refuse to trade at this point the game is effectively a draw. Monopoly creator Lizzie Maggie created two sets of rules an anti-monopolist set in which all were rewarded when wealth was created, and a monopolist set in which the goal was to create monopolies and crush opponents. By the wooden nickel. Lizzie predicted 2008. Why buy property when you can just pitch a Coleman tent on New York Avenue and not go directly to jail? Reason I stopped playing Monopoly was the inordinate amount of time it took to complete a game. Your version would tip me over the edge. In the words of the great warrior poet WOPR the only way to win is not to play. If in a game of poker nobody ever bets then nobody loses money. And if my aunt had wheels she'd be a bike. Monopoly's weird man, no one gets a get out of jail card for free, these things cost thousands. Creed Bratton, The Office. I thought the person who made Monopoly specifically made it to not be fun. I thought it was supposed to show the inherent flaws of capitalism or whatever. So nobody is playing then since you're ignoring the rules of the game. Okay but if I buy a property and you don't then I win and you lose so. If you play by the rules as it's supposed to be played, if you choose not to buy a property it goes up for auction, which I think someone has to bid on. The original Monopoly, the landlord's game, disincentivized owning a lot of properties if I remember correctly. It was very much a monopolies are bad and you shouldn't hoard these resources, but then has bro went but what if it was?